Good morning, everyone. My name is Sherry Nguyen. I am so thrilled to be a part of the Mindfulness Family Project. Today, I'd like to just tell you a few words about my idea of a mindful family. To me, a mindful family starts off with the pillars of mindfulness. So that's pretty much understanding what mindfulness is. And mindfulness is presence, awareness, awareness of the moment, your thoughts, behaviors, actions, and being able to do something with those to understand triggers, patterns of behavior in order to make better decisions as a parent and as a human being. So to me, presence means being fully present with your children, your partner, your family member. And presence is not just physical presence, embodied presence, deeply connected, truly listening, deep listening, no distractions, completely there holding space for that person and their needs in the moment. We're also looking at the pillar of acceptance and that is the big one because it's the acceptance of ourselves, learning to embrace our own imperfections as a parent and as a human being. And then of course, being able to be okay with that and teaching our kids that it is okay to not be perfect. We try our best at what we do, but perfectionism is a false illusion. So living from this place of authenticity, being authentic, being ourselves, being able to make mistakes and be okay with that. That in turn teaches our children that it is okay to make a mistake. We get right back up and we do it again. So compassionate communication, no blame, no shame, no guilt in our language and how we speak to our children. We don't recognize the language that we use in the importance of positive language whenever we communicate with our kids. So how are we framing it? Are we looking at what we want them to do versus what we don't want them to do? Most of the time that's an automatic. We automatically focus on what we don't want them to do. But of course the language and the framing is extremely important. So being able to express how we feel and showing our children that that is okay to understand our feelings and being able to express those in a positive way. I really feel that a key component to a mindful family is also gratitude. It's truly being grateful and appreciative toward the life that we already have, which in turn just creates more abundance and more appreciation. So I am so excited to teach the Mindful Family Project. I'm a mom, I have two boys, Talon is 20 and Kierce is 17. Um, and I just feel that if I had these skills when I was a younger parent, that I would have been able to self-regulate a little bit earlier. I would have been able to handle my emotions a little bit quicker. That's really what the mindfulness skills teach us. They teach us the importance of that pause, that brief pause, as Viktor Frankl states, it's between the stimulus and the response, is the pause. And it's the pause is where all the growth lies. So I'm so excited and thrilled to be on this journey with you. And I really would love to be a part of your journey as well. So let's get started.